Time to play with some clay. That's my dryer going on in the background. <laughs> anyway, I gotta put my glasses on. Figure out where I put them. Oh, there they are. <clears throat> Much better. I know it's an odd angle for my video, but that's what I'm doing on a moment's notice here. What I'm trying to do is put some detail in the feathers because the detail that I had in them before was blown by the fact that I had to rescale these feathers. These were far thicker than uh, I need for these feathers because of the size they were. And uh, Got some extra clear on there somewhere. I think it's probably in the box. Yep, it is. There we go. What you see, that black line right there, is the armature that I put inside the uh, feather. I cover all this in at least one of my instructional videos. I mentioned that I scale these feathers to match the head measurement that I'm working with. And I do that with just about everything, including the rifle that I'm going to be doing. Because I want them to look like the right size. I don't want them to look like they're too small or too big. I want them to look right. And I show how to do that in several of my videos. It's not necessarily scaling feathers. It's scaling to match what size of a sculpture you're doing. I've seen some really bad scaled items and uh, I don't want to be known for that. It's real windy outside but it's also 61 degrees which is springtime here in Montana. So I'm just starting this. This is the first feather out of, I think, 20 that I'm doing. And uh, it's going to take time to do them all. I just want to show how much time it takes to do one feather. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm removing the quill. Now, actually, that, that one's pretty good, though. So I'll keep that one. Now nah, I'll just do another one. Got to even out the edges of the feather. You don't want the uh, feathers to be too thick. But you don't want them to be too thin either. You got to be able to cast them 
but since they're going to be overlapping each other on the headdress, it all works out in the end. I'm just going to put some texture in. I'm using a serrated edged wire tool that gives me a nice texture on the feather. I know this is an odd angle, but it's the only one I could come up with on the spur of the moment. Okay. Straighten out the edge of the feather. Good. The other side. right there and I gotta start rolling out the uh, quill all right I got the uh, feather it's about 10 minutes later I got uh, both the uh, front quill and the back quill done and that's the first feather out of 20 so I'm gonna be working for a couple of hours on this. that's the last of the five first feathers I've got 15 more to go and it's uh, time-consuming but anything that's worth doing is gonna take time That's going to be it for 
today's video and uh, I'll pick this up next time. Good night, everybody. Have a great night. Please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.